Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris and I'm back with more Everyday RC and my Axial Yeti XL. For those of you that are not familiar with my Yeti XL, this is the kit version and the kit version comes with some things that the RTR does not come with. It comes with the 17 millimeter hubs, it comes with the spare tire for the rear, and it also comes with the rear aluminum brace, I believe. Well, this is my custom Axial Yeti XL paint job that I did myself. I think it came out pretty good. I really haven't bashed this truck too much, so I'm hoping I can run a pack through it. So with the kit version, you do have to put in your own electronics. So these are the electronics that I chose to go with. I went with the Mamba Monster 2 system with the 2200 kV motor. I will be getting a cooling fan for that very soon. Of course, I went with the Castle 6.5 millimeter connectors and I went with a very inexpensive all metal gear high torque servo a high tech steering servo not really the best servo for this size vehicle but it does steer pretty good and I do have the aluminum servo horn on there so it is enough to get me out there and it is waterproof for for now it'll do but I plan to upgrade that and of course I'm running Max Amps and I will be running this on 6S. I will be running dual 3S here and these are hard packs so it's going to provide plenty of juice for this monster. So I'm back at my favorite bash spot and let's get this beast out there and see what it can do. Let's do this guys. <laughs>
Well, I was just having fun with it guys and I blew out my front diff. That sucks. Not even going hard guys. Uh, time for some upgrades on the Eddy. What though? I don't care. I'll keep going with it.
guys, so that's not so good. Stripped out the front differential. Seems like I stripped out the uh, the ring gear and the bevel gear in the front. Same problem, very similar to what happens on the Savage Flux, which I'm in the process of fixing that on my Savage with that Alza center diff conversion. But a lot of people have been telling me that this vehicle is not durable. Watch out, and honestly, I'm starting to believe them. I haven't even been able to get a full pack through this truck without something going wrong. And you can see I was getting on it pretty good, but I really wasn't beating it too badly. And as you can hear by that stripping, that, oh, does not sound good. Well, no big deal. Just another reason to upgrade. And I'm not giving up on this truck just yet, so I will get to the bottom of this. And I do like how it drives. It is very fun to drive. I like the style of the vehicle, so I'm not giving up on it just yet. I will be fixing this, and stay tuned for more Everyday RC. And I hope you guys are all making it happen in your RC world. And for now, this is Chris the Everyday RC Guy saying thanks for watching.